But what I would say is that, in a sense, a crisis becomes an invitation. A catastrophe is an invitation. And it seems like whether you're on the left or right, everyone believes catastrophe is coming and it will be an invitation. It will be an invitation because if what we are being offered is a slow grind into endless war and more and more authoritarianism and more and more control of our personal lives and our ability, ability to worship, our will, ability to affiliate, our ability to pray. If what's being, if we, what we're being invited to accept is the colonization of the self, of our ability to think freely, then what have we got to lose when all they're offering us is more war, endless pandemics that are being legislatively enshrined even now through the WHO treaty. What have we actually got to lose? I think in a sense, but in a, perhaps they are, you know, if there is one God, one all-powerful God, then surely that God is at work now. And surely that God is creating the perfect conditions for our mutual awakening. And perhaps what's required is the spur, the ignition of something so unbearable that people will awaken rather than endure it rather than endure it any further and perhaps that's what we're being offered now yes of course it seems like we're on the precipice of catastrophe geopolitically and from various potential health pandemics but also it seems to me like a potential offering to awaken and i don't think we have any choice other than to see it that way also brand you have not been broken you are at your very best your oh, very best i really appreciate it thank you